Day one for Arm Recognition Editorial Team at DSCI 2019, the International Defence and Security Exhibition in London, UK. As official online show daily news and media sponsor of the Land Zone, we will cover DSCI 2019 with daily video and online show daily news. DSCI is one of the most important defence and security exhibition for the year 2019. There is a large presence of international and national pavilions. Behind me is the Land Zone area with a large presence of different types of combat vehicles and UGV and mangrove vehicles. My name is Andrew Jankel. I'm the chairman of the Jankel Group of Companies. We've been in business for getting on for 40 years. Uh, my father started the company and I took over running the business maybe 15 years ago. So today, in the challenging world that we have in defense, where budgets are limited, we have to be able to see what the future looks like. And the future for Jankel has been an evolution of our skills, our traditional skills, towards a number of vehicle programs that are larger, where we have to combine good project management, good engineering, but also utilize some of our very traditional skills. So at DSCI this year, we have two vehicles on show. One is our Fox vehicle, which we launched some time ago. We have that in service in approximately eight or nine countries. We have maybe 400 vehicles in service. And this is a version of the vehicle similar to what was delivered recently to the Belgian army. Uh, the challenge is cost-effectively coming up with a militarization of that platform. So Jankel have decided to build a family of vehicles based upon the Unimog. First of all, welcome to DSCI. My name is Jeff Newman. I'm the Product Development Director for Jankel. Um, I'd like to talk you through our new uh, platform here. It's the Light Troop Tactical Vehicle. As you, you may be aware, the program is uh, related to a Belgium contract that we are under contract to deliver 199 vehicles. And there's various different modules within that 199 vehicles, which consist of an ambulance, mission modules and logistic modules. Some of you may know it's, already, it's based on a Unimog U5000. It's a well-proven platform. Over 25 years of development, the Mercedes have invested in the platform. Um, as a rule for this programme, we're not changing anything to do with the chassis or the powertrain or, the, or any of the drivetrain. All the modifications that Jankel are doing are integrating onto the chassis um, body mounts upwards. As you can see, it's got its own unique style to the project. We've spent a lot of time doing weight analysis on the programme. Um, we've replaced the whole front end of the truck. It's got composite panels on the front of the truck, a fully armoured tub, and we move back to the um, mission module on the back, which is also armoured, and that will stay permanently armoured for this particular configuration. The key message for this programme is modularity and configuration. The customer has got several modules that go on the back, as I've said, ambulance and mission module. But what we have done as Jankel, we're developing alongside the, the Belgium um, program, we're looking at future-proofing the design for other customers. The armour tub on here at the moment is um, a, a reasonable level of protection, but obviously with different materials, more exotic materials, we can increase the protection level. This particular configuration doesn't have doors on there, but we can obviously add doors on there. It has foldable windscreens, so they can be, and they quick release, so they can be taken on and off. The actual load bed here, that's got a, a, a unique composite blend of um, metallic and composite uh, load beds for uh, mine protection and blast protection. Um, but in terms of rapid protection kit around the outside of the vehicle, over the other side of the vehicle you will see some armour plates that have been added to it. Probably is a configuration that would never get used in a battlefield, but it's showing the capability, showing that we can fit these weapons on there, showing how configurable the platform is. Even in, in this configuration, which one would argue is a little bit over the top in terms of weapons, it still has the capability of carrying three troops and it's still got room for two more troop seats. So it's just showing the vast capability of the platform.
So I'm Mark, Mark Weisberg. I'm the CEO of Pitagon. Pitagon is a Belgian company. Uh, we uh, develop and produce anti-ramming barrier that we are selling for the time being in 38 countries on five continents uh, with two models, the F11 well-known and the F18 that we are now launching at the DSEI. The product is absolutely unique with a level of certification never obtained uh, for this type of product which is mobile and which is able to stop a truck up to 18 tons. So basically this product has been developed firstly for civilian use so that means that the police municipality will use this product in order to protect sport uh, events, football, rugby games, to protect any other events where a lot of public will come over like concerts but it can be also Christmas market, farmers market, any activity where you will have a lot of citizens coming to one place for a certain uh, amount of time and where you need a product that will be 100% mobile so you have no time to build an infrastructure for an event that will last a few days or a few weeks only. Time is of the issue, efficiency is of the issue. It is of the utmost importance for this kind of product that this product can be used by whoever will need it without a big training and that this product will do the job. This is the reason why I engage people to come over to see us, to ask for a demonstration of this product. Only at this time they will understand which are the real capabilities of this product. Hi, good afternoon. Nice to, nice to meet you here at the Bitium booth. Uh, Bitium is a company located in Finland. We are about 700 people and uh, we have on display here on this show our tactical communications equipment, our networks, our new SDR based radios and of course our latest product which is the new Tough Mobile 2 smartphone which I will show you over there. Uh, so this uh, new phone we only started shipping uh, early this month so it's it's our latest and greatest uh, product and uh, it's a fully military um, grade smartphone together with ultra security. Ultra security means that we have incorporated hardware based security module inside. It has a layered security architecture which means that uh, all the data, the user data, the communication links are protected uh, through our security uh, methods. For the uh, for the uh, customers, we also have a backend solution, which we call Secure Suite, which provides the mobile VPN, the device management, and other advanced functions, so you can control and monitor the uh, devices on the field. And uh, that's what we offer. They are all designed and manufactured in Finland. And, uh, you know, welcome to, uh, you are welcome to visit us on this show. We are here at booth uh, entry 550. We have already uh, quite a lot of uh, pre-booked meetings uh, with our current customers. And of course, we are welcoming all the new ones here on our booth. And uh, we have a separate meeting over area over there where we can discuss in more detail and, and privacy. Good morning, my name is Tim Langford and I'm the Business Development Manager for Europe, Middle East and Africa and also Latin America. Our main product today on show would be Slingshot and I will also show you a little of uh, Tropiscata in a moment but Slingshot is our main product and Slingshot is designed to give range extension for normal tactical radios with an FM capability and a 25 kilohertz channel. With those parameters, this will extend your normal radio that might work 5 or 10 kilometres out to 1,000 kilometres and beyond. It also provides within it 
communications on the move as we design systems that work on the man or woman, on the vehicle, on maritime platforms and on aviation both fixed wing and rotary. There's a number of armies across the world that have bought this particular product and there are about three and a half thousand units deployed globally. So another major product that we're now selling into, um, into Europe and into, obviously into UK is the Tropo Scatter product. And this gives us the ability to move very, very large uh, bandwidth between two particular sites. You can do other systems like chain them together, which is how it is used in other militaries around the world. But it gives you vast distances, up to 160 kilometers, moving between two and up to potentially 50 megabits, and it can actually go beyond that. We've got two form factors, the normal form factor you would use in a, in a headquarters, but we're also designing a small form factor with a one metre dish, which you can see on my right hand side at the moment, which would allow you to move it into small areas such as FOBs and possibly to give you backhaul communications if you're in a particularly covert deployment and you wanted to put sensors out. Well, DSEI is the biggest one in the world, I believe. Certainly, I would say that, having been to many of them. And there are so many different countries that are represented at DSEI, both as exhibitors and as visitors. It gives us the chance to interact with other potential partners, to be able to send into other countries around the world, but also to absorb other militaries and brief them on our particular capabilities and products. My name is Tiffany Veeman. I'm a program manager with Arnold Defense, a US-based company. Uh, we manufacture the 2.75 inch, 70 millimeter rocket launchers, and we have for over 50 years, since 1961. This is our new product, the MLHS, the Multiple Launch Hydra System. It's a 23 round launcher that fires the 2.75 inch, 70 millimeter rocket. This provides organic fire to infantry troops that they've never had before. Previously, troops would have to call in for air support. Having this ability on the ground will significantly cut that time and help protect our troops. The MLHS is an extension of the Fletcher, which we displayed in 2017 here at DSEI. Um, the Fletcher is a four round launcher that successfully hit targets from 1200 meters all the way up to 6000 meters using laser guided rockets. Both the Fletcher and the MLHS can be outfitted on a variety of platforms from small and large tactical vehicles like the Jankles, Unimog, LTTV that you can see the MLH displayed on, as well as maritime vessels. Both these systems meet the demands of modern surface-based asymmetric warfare optimized use by both special and conventional forces. 